Before we start the video guys, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 via the link below. If you've watched this channel or if you're a video editor, you probably know what Envato Elements is. It's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Every subscription helps the channel. All right, let's get into this video. And how's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here and we're in for another creative week with my bro Richard Lau. You may remember Richard from this incredible video that he did a while ago called How to Build a Video Editing PC on a Budget. A lot of you guys like that video. We brought Richard back and we're going to have him cover just a lot of kind of random topics in short snippets of videos. And in this video, we're going to be diving just a little bit into the world of drones. If you are a beginner and you're thinking about buying a drone, check this video out. It'll give you a little bit of info. Richard, the floor is yours. Yo, what's going on, lovely humans? It's your boy Richard back here again. And today we're talking about drones. Drones have always been a huge commodity amongst creators, and I think every single person should have one. Aerial footage can really amp up your production quality from here all the way to up here. It gives a new perspective to your projects, and it gives you a much more professional look to your work. And it can be used for a variety of things such as travel videos, concerts, real estate, movies, and even b-roll for your vlogs. And they're also becoming much more affordable nowadays compared to how much they were back then. Now there are drones designed for all sorts of creators, whether you're in a professional field or just the consumer. Now today we're going to be taking a look at DJI's lineup as they are the main manufacturer for drones. They have the Mavic series, the Phantom, Inspire, Matrice, and the Tello. And these drones are very different from each other, so let's go and break them down. Now let's take a look at the most popular series, which is the Mavic. Now within the Mavic series, they have a couple of different level drones as well. So let's take a look at their entry level, which is the Mavic Mini. This is going to be four hundred dollars and it has some incredible features for what the price can offer it has a half inch CMOS sensor and it can shoot up to 2.7k it has a top speed of 29 miles per hour and can handle 30 minutes of a flight time moving on to the mid-level mavic we're going to be taking a look at the mavic air 2 this is going to set you back about 800 dollars now it also has the same half inch sensor but it can shoot up to 4k resolution with it being slightly bigger it has more performance it can fly 42 miles per hour at a maximum flight time of 34 minutes now doubling the price of that we have the mavic 2 pro which is $1,600. Now with that price increase, you're going to get a full inch CMO sensor. Now you can also shoot up to 4K resolution, but with the bigger sensor size, you have better improvements with low light as well as dynamic range. You can fly up to 44 miles per hour at 31 minutes of flight time. Now jumping onto their Phantom series, they only have one available on their site, which is the Phantom 4 Pro. This is the same price as the Mavic 2 Pro at $1,600. You also get that one inch CMO sensor, but it can handle a C4K resolution, which is a little wider than the standard 4K. Now the structure of this drone is quite rigid and less portable so with this it's going to be a little bit harder to travel with but with the stronger build it allows for better wind resistance and it can fly a little faster at 45 miles per hour with a 30 minute flight time now moving on to the professional series drones we have the inspire series the inspire series can range from 3300 all the way up to 9400 depending on which package you get now the camera system is a zen moose x5s which can shoot up to 6k resolution and it has a micro four thirds sensor now this drone is definitely not portable whatsoever and is targeted for for high speed use. It can fly up to 58 miles per hour and it has a flight time of 23 to 27 minutes. This is the drone you want to use if you're filming something at very, very high speeds. Now they also have the Matrice 600 Pro, which is also a high level drone, but this is used very differently. You can have a multi-camera setup. You can use the Zen Moose cameras as well as a Red Epic. On top of that, you can put a Ronin MX gimbal on it. So this is no joke. It has a top speed of 40 miles per hour and a record breaking battery life of 92 to 110 minutes. And the reason why it's able to handle such a long battery life is because it has multiple batteries that can be mounted onto it. Now the price sets you back about $6,600, which is not too bad considering the performance it can handle. Now moving on to the last and final drone, which is the Tello. Now this one's a little bit interesting. This is not talked about that much because this is actually designed by the company Rise and it's one of DJI's partners. Now this is more of a toy drone. It comes in at $100 and it's not going to have any intensive features. It can shoot up to 720p and has flight time of 13 minutes and flies up to 17 miles per hour. So to figure out which drone is best for you, I'm going to break it down into a general summary. If you're just looking to practice and play around with the drone, the Tello series is definitely recommended and it's a really affordable way to introduce you into the drone world. If you're a content creator looking for a drone to shoot some b-roll with, the Mavic series is definitely worth it as it's really portable and you can bring it with you when you travel. Now, if you're looking for a higher end professional drone for films, the Phantom 4 Pro is great if you're also a traveler. It's not going to be as portable as the Mavic series, but this is a good way to get professional grade footage without having to spend so much
much on a high-end drone like the Inspire or Matrice. I would say the Inspire and Matrice systems are designed for very, very high-end shoots and for a very controlled environment. Not only is it very expensive, the setup time is going to take a long time, so those are recommended to be on sets instead of being used for travel. Now, drones also have a strong regulation, so you can't just go out and fly it wherever you want. You should always check your local laws to see in which areas you're able to or not able to fly in. And flying within 400 feet above ground level is recommended for safety reasons. You don't want to interfere with the air control system or hit a plane or a helicopter even if they're flying really low. So when flying a drone, you should always be very aware of your surroundings before taking off. Now, if you're in a location where it's very secluded and open and there's no planes flying by, you could push it a little bit further. Here are some shots that have taken in Hong Kong. This is at 1500 feet. And these shots were taken on the DJI Mavic Pro, the original one, which is really, really old now. And as you can see that you don't need the best drone to get incredible footage. And also having a drone opens up more opportunities for jobs. You know, people are going to want to hire you if you can offer drone services. Like including my thoughts, I believe every creator out there should have a drone. It's just really going to bring up your production quality and bring your footage to a new level. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, drop your comments below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Richard, thanks so much for sharing your awesome expertise in the world of drones. It's crazy how far we've come. If a lot of you guys probably remember, before DJI, you know, started creating these consumer grade drones that anyone could fly. The only way to get relatively good aerial footage was to actually know how to build your own like manually controlled drone. Or if you had a heavier camera, you had to literally rent a helicopter out, which is crazy expensive. So it's incredible how far we've come. The democratization of aerial videography has been completely turned upside down and expanded out to such a wider market with the world of these consumer drones. So I can't wait to see what the future holds. Guys, please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to keep it chill.